Hey guys, yeah, I'm back with another video. I've got about 15 14 minutes to do this in, so anyway, I thought I'd talk about something here. You know, there was always initial reports that Seth Rollins was going to turn babyface. Now, I know Schleg Daddy talked about something with concerning WWE's identity. And he's got a point in talking about what he's probably mentioned in there. But, it's not just the WWE's identity. Sometimes it's also the decision making. See, sometimes we may think we know something's going to happen. But in the end something different happens. Or something along the lines happens, but it's not exactly the way we thought it would be. You see, there are initial reports coming out from places like Pro Wrestling 24 and other areas. I'm pretty sure Ringside News is talking about it. I'm sure Wrestling Observer is going to talk about it. PWI, Solid Monster, you name it. That the babyface turn that has been made, that has been discussed for Seth Rollins is now, now, going to be given to the authority. In other words, it's going to be given to Stephanie McMahon. It's going to be given to Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. That's right. In other words, Seth Rollins, and I guess whoever aligns himself with him, are going to be the heels. So yeah. And you know I'm not I'm not really surprised by this at all. I, I'm not I'm not really surprised because I don't know if it's a temporary deal or it's permanent. I can't really say. But I can say this. Whatever the reason is, whatever the initial reason is for the change in planning if that's the case there's got to be a good reason I mean we all thought Seth was going to be a, going to turn baby face after Battleground apparently that's not the case what's happened instead is Seth is be staying the heel and I guess it's because he's becoming that kind of heel that you want to see the title get taken away from due to the fact that he well to basically quote what John Cena said and even Delex Man talked about it Seth has made the championship into a joke he's been a joke of a champion he, he can't be taken seriously because he either needs help help retaining or he always finds a way to escape with the championship without legitimately you know winning You know, without legitimately winning. And that bothers a lot of fans. It really does. And I'm sure it bothers the WWE offices and stuff and creative team. It's like the, they know we fans are not liking the idea that Seth Rollins is being basically showcased as a wimp of a champion. A chicken beep heel of a champion. And... As some people said, not even a good one. It's like, they don't know what to do. And pretty much, I guess the only alternative is you got to turn, is you got to do something. Something nobody would see coming. Now, I'm pretty sure Creative realized, you know what, fans are going to expect Seth to turn your face. But what if he doesn't? What if we make him the heel and we turn the authority face. And now he, here could be a reason why this is happening. They're not too sure about Rock at WrestleMania 32. They're not too sure about that. You see, this baby face turn, if they go through with it, could be temporary for the authority. It could just be a temporary deal, and that's it. But we don't know. It could be something that lasts up till the end of 
the year and beginning of the year they go back to being heels. We don't really know. I mean, let's not forget, in a sense, Triple H kind of did something similar 15 years ago, or going on 15 years ago. When Triple H went into his feud with Benoit, okay, or Kurt Angle and then Ben, with, you know, guys like Benoit and then Kurt Angle and stuff, you know, he was becoming a babyface. But when we got towards Survivor Series of that year, the babyface turn ended and he was back to being a heel. So, the question is, are we going to do, is that going to happen again? Are we going to have a short-term babyface run for the authority, and then in the end, they turn back into heels in time for, let's say, WrestleMania? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it could, init it could initially happen. And that could initially be the plan. But you see, as much as that's a possibility, I think what's happening as well, and maybe I'm wrong, because Lord knows the WWE likes to make us think otherwise. Lord knows the WWE likes to make us think otherwise. That perhaps, that perhaps the creative team is realizing exactly, and even maybe the head offices are realizing exactly what a lot of fans are saying. And as the authority storyline is dead, it should just die. There's no reason for it anymore. Or, you know, it should just end it, just be done with it, da, da, da. And maybe, maybe they're hearing that. Maybe they're realizing, you know what, these fans have a point. The authority thing should end. There's no reason for it anymore. You know, uh, Triple H's staff haven't really been arriving, haven't been showing up that much anymore, except recently. And when you take a look at things like the Sports Center, uh, Sports Center My Wish segment from this week, and you see Triple H and Stephanie in the light that they've been shown lately, it's like... What's the point of keeping them heels? And you want to know something, though? I think initially this heel, this uh, babyface turn, began right after Dusty, pa right after the American Dream passed away. I really do. I, I initially think it started when he passed away, because I think. In a sense, he probably always saw Triple H and Stephanie as baby faces and not really heels. And you take, like I said, you take a look at all the things they've been in so far, like the, you know, My Wish segment on Sports Center. It's like, how can you portray them as heels if they're doing the stuff like this? You can't. So, my thing is, I believe, in a sense, that this baby face turn, with all due respect, started when the American Dream passed away. I really do. And that's why, that's what, that's probably why they're going to go in that direction. Again, will it be permanent? I don't know. Will it be just lasting to at least the beginning of next year? I don't know. But, my initial question is, is it about, is it the right, is it the right thing to do? Is it the right path for them to go in? Is turning the authority babyface, even temporary, maybe for the rest of the year, a good direction to go in? Or do you think it should just be a permanent deal and just, in a sense, let the authority die out? Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. Let me know what you think about the possible authority babyface turn. Let me know down below. Do you think it's the right decision? Let me know. Comment below. I'll talk to you all later. I'm heading back to work.